my goodness. It is so beautiful. This week, I've recognized my privilege more than I ever had in my entire life. There's 11 weeks left until the new year. I made a promise that I'm not going to feel bad at the end of the year because I didn't reach all the goals I had set for myself. Now more than ever, there is no room to complain, there is no room to be ungrateful, there is no room to not use the potential, the gifts, the blessings that God has bestowed upon us to not only succeed in this life but to succeed in the next and to help as many people as we can along the way. Welcome to the Look Good Feel Good Era Diaries. Actually, let me pause this to quickly talk to you guys. Hi guys. <laughs> Happy Monday. It is another week. Like this is week six of us together. We're like this at this point. Is it week six? It's week six. You guys, it's week six. Oh my goodness. I just want to say I am so grateful for every single one of you guys. Thank you guys so much for all the comments and the messages and the DMs and like i'm just so blown away and overwhelmed with all the love that you guys have shown me it makes me so happy to know that you guys are also enjoying these videos and that you guys rely on these videos and that they've been a part of your routine now like i feel like i just can't let you guys down now like i i can't also this morning i hit 100k on tiktok i woke up to 100k if you guys don't follow me on tiktok you definitely should i make a lot of content on there and yeah i'm just little giddy this morning <laughs> like i can't stop smiling i feel like i feel like i always downplay like my i wouldn't necessarily say achievements but i like downplay everything okay and so this is something that i'm really happy about and i'm really proud about and i wanted to share it with you guys you guys are the first person i told this morning i guess i told my mom last night i was like i think i'm gonna wake up to 100k tomorrow and we woke up to 100k today i'm really grateful and yeah i just pray that i can do good with the following that i have okay i'm gonna head to the gym now and i will see you guys in a bit
look what's here. Oh my goodness. I am so excited. I'm not going to unbox it now. I want to unbox it on camera for you guys. And we're not camera ready right now. So I'm going to unbox this later. But I'm so excited. As you can see, we are nowhere near done editing. But today, today we're going to prioritize our hot girl walk. Okay? Today, we're going to stand up for ourselves against editing and we're gonna go on a hot girl walk. Also, I had lunch without you guys because the files on this SD card were uploading to my computer, but I had matcha and I had some steak tacos inserted on the screen because it was delicious. Okay, let's grab our Lululemon bag. Hot girl walk essentials? Absolutely. I need to put on a jacket because it's cold outside. I gotta get my shoes out of my car. I also have to get my headphones out of my car. This hot girl is gonna go on a walk. What does that equal? A hot girl walk. <laughs> All I did was look outside. All I did was see the leaves blowing in the wind and I'm already cold. Being with it, rock with it. I really love just like walking and seeing everyone's um, Halloween decorations. It's so cute. It's so cute. But your girl gotta pee. And I think we're only like an hour and like 10 into our walk. So we still got like 15 minutes left. Um, I think my house is like 30 minutes away from where I am now. So we shall see. Guys, I'm cheating on y'all again with TikTok. I'm filming a haul right now, so I'm gonna put you guys here. Please forgive me. Okay, anyway, I'm doing a little Gymshark haul. So, first I'm gonna start with this right here. I think this is a crew neck. It is. Oh, that's big enough. Yeah, I got a, I think a large. Yeah, I got a large and it's supposed to already be oversized, but you know, I wanted it to be oversized, oversized. And this is what the back looks like. Now I'm like, I really have to go to the gym and lift heavy because I can't be looking like a biatch, okay? I gotta go in there and I gotta lift. Okay, next is this. I think it's the crop top, which hear me out, okay? Listen, I have a vision. See, it's like a mock neck crop top that I can wear under t-shirts. I don't know what this is. Oh, these are some flare pants that I got. I never trust flare pants because they never are flare on me. Um, I'm gonna have to try these on. I could probably wear it if I wear something long, of course, because you know, your girl has thunder thighs. Okay, we got thunder thighs over here, so this is definitely gonna be tight up here, but I feel like I can wear it with something like the, the little crew neck. I think this is a t-shirt. It is a t-shirt. I can wear this over the little cropped top. See? See what I'm getting at? Only because I feel so uncomfortable wearing short sleeves with a hijab. Like, oh, I can't go back to that era. I can't do it. I got another t-shirt in the white. Cute. I got two more things. Oh my god, okay, I got my first ever, like, modest modest you guys know the modest wear stuff where they it's like dresses basically i never got one of those before oh it's not even this but i got one of those i guess i got that same crew neck in black i've never worn these before i've never tried them on but i was like you know what for the one time why not i could probably wear it with those green flare pants you guys, I don't know if I could do it. Okay, maybe I can. It looks so cute on the model. All right, so that's all I got. If you guys wanna see a try on or like how I would style these, let me know. Or else I'll do like gym outfits of the days. Oh my goodness. It is so beautiful. 
Good morning. I look insane. But as you can see, we just got done with the prayer. With the morning prayer. Oh my goodness, you guys, I cut my nails. I cut them, and now my hands look like sausage fingers. Like, I don't know, I just felt like I needed a fresh start. We're gonna let them grow and do their thing. And I kind of want to see like how long it actually takes for them to grow. You know what I mean? Before I do any of my other work later around 10, I'm gonna edit that video. But I've got a lot to do today, so I have to finish editing the video ASAP. So I can't look left, I can't look left, right? I can't cackle, I can't laugh, I can't do any of that, okay? I wanna try to go to the mall today only because I have some stuff to return. But yeah, we're, my main priority right now is editing that video getting it up for you guys today it's tuesday bt dubs i don't know i didn't say that oh my goodness we i feel like i look so crusty right now but we hit 9k on here and 100k on tiktok yesterday i feel like we're going so fast on here all of a sudden and i just want to say i love y'all for all the newer people welcome it's very nice to have you here i'm a little shy why am i getting shy why am I getting shy? I love you guys so much. Thank you guys for all the support that you guys have shown me. I hope that I can have the same impact in your life as you guys have had on mine. Uh, I'm gonna see you guys in a bit. I'm gonna chug some water. I also haven't done like my skincare or anything because I was like panicking to get to salon because I'm a little late. Not that late though, but just a little bit late. I don't know what time it is even. We're just gonna do our morning affirmations, our dua, all of that, and then we're gonna get right into editing okay i love you so much i'll see you soon brecky is served we're still editing honestly though i think we're doing well today like we're gonna get it done we're gonna slay oh my god you guys i feel like i can conquer the world like i feel so cute right now i have on the flared pants the greenish ones and then i have on the crew neck with the cropped shirt underneath like i feel like a new woman okay y'all i feel good i feel good like this is the feeling that i've been looking for i just filmed a little tiktok video modest girlies <laughs> i feel cute i'm covered i feel cute today is a whole day this is the best alani new flavor oh to die for i feel like a new woman Cheers! But I'm gonna make my way to the gym. It is currently 1.30. Did I finish editing the video? Yes, I did. However, I'm not done with it, but my eyes were literally burning from looking at the screen all day. I am tired of looking at the screen, and so I'm gonna take a little break and go to the gym um, on my break. So, yeah, let's go. There's just so much to do, and there's just not enough time in the day is how i've been feeling lately there's so many like emails that i need to get back to i feel so grateful that there's like so many brands that are like reaching out to me and stuff and and like i don't want to like ruin relationships that didn't even start because i'm not like responding to emails and so i'm gonna set aside some time today to really do that i just i'll probably do it when i'm on the treadmill when I'm doing my walking, let me see what the weather is outside. What's the weather like outside today? What's the weather? 55 degrees. It's the same weather as yesterday. I need something to eat quick. I don't know how to thing. I'm gonna quickly cut up this apple. I like to cut out the core just so it's easier for me to eat in the car. I'm filled with so much gratitude today. I don't know how you guys deal with me, honestly. We're gonna put her in a ziplock. You guys, remember how in last week's vlog, I was like, I'm gonna stay optimistic. God is gonna bless me. Like, I just know. Oh my God, talking about God, I forgot to pray the whole. I made with doing stuff, so I'm just gonna pray quick before I go. So I wanted to show you guys, these came in the mail today. I ordered these little dust bags off of Amazon so that I can put my gym shoes in here, just so that they don't mess up the inside of my Louis, not Louis Vuitton. Um, my Lululemon gym bag, little tote bag. And yeah, I just feel so icky like putting my shoes in there every day. So let's go. Girl, I don't know whose crocs these are. 
Hey y'all, happy Wednesday. Your girl is on a roll today. Your girl is on a roll today. It is, hold on. It's currently 2.47. I didn't bring you guys with me this morning because I forgot my camera. I went to the gym, of course, and I'd just been doing work and I needed the SD card that was inside of the camera and so I didn't really film anything. But it's currently 2, I just got, well, it's 2.47, basically 3 o'clock. I just got done with all of my work. I'm still in my workout clothes, as you can see. I did a full leg day today and I was so proud of myself. I feel just like so... Like, I have so much energy, and I, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Girl, your girl was focused. She was getting her work done. I pro I promised myself I would do a ab circuit when I got home because I didn't want to do it when I was at the gym. And I got to hold myself accountable. I got to hold myself to my word. So I'm going to do a quick 10-minute circuit, and then I'm going to go for a walk. It is so nice outside. It's 60 degrees. It's sunny, and so I can't miss out on that today. I just have to get back home and shower and get ready for Hannah's birthday dinner tonight. I'm going to quickly do a 10-minute ab circuit. It literally doesn't take a long time. Hold on. And once we do that, we're going to run outside, go on our walk. Not run, but like walk outside and go on our walk. I'm really proud of myself today for being so like on my stuff, you know? This was my outfit of the day today. It was so cute. Oh, my mom's calling me. Hello? What's up? Mm -hmm. I don't know why I need the mat. I don't, I don't really need the mat. But I forgot my camera. It is now evening. I went on my hot girl walk. I took a shower. I got ready. And now I'm on my way to Hannah's birthday dinner. I feel so like low right now. And my heart feels so heavy with everything that's happening in Palestine. I actually feel so sick. And really just, yeah, my heart just feels heavy. I don't know how else to explain it. So I'm definitely not even in like the giddy mood. I'm not in the happy mood. I will check in with you guys later. I love you. Good morning guys and happy Thursday. Um, I honestly had a really hard time getting out of bed this morning. I even missed my dentist appointment. Um, and you know to see an injustice that's so that that just runs so deep to see that there are so many people that are not standing up for this group of people who have been oppressed for so long and who have been silenced for so long and whose pains and suffering has been swept under the rug for so long and to see to see people just not care to see that people just don't feel anything when they see their suffering it just it genuinely boggles my mind and we've seen this happen again and again and again in history and so it doesn't surprise me at how the world is reacting and how people are reacting but i just don't understand how your heart can be so hard to the point like i can't i just i don't understand it when i think of people who were in a place of power and just so evil and malicious in history it makes me think like dang like how did they do that and we continue to see it happen again and again and again and again and again and we simply do not learn the lesson is what really baffles my mind but my heart is so heavy for my brothers and my sisters in palestine i had a hard time sleeping last night and so that's why i had a hard time like getting out of bed this morning and it I would know for a fact that God will not fail them even if humanity has, even if we as a collective have, you know what I mean? And it's sometimes you don't really understand why things happen, but you have to trust that that justice will be served. Even if it's not in this life, that justice will be served and holding on to that and having that patience because it, f it really feels like there's like nothing that you can do and it angers me so much. It angers me so 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 much i wish that there was more that i can do but i know that as long as i continue praying for them and having trust and having faith and having patience it just breaks my heart 
it re like what i really don't get it i don't want to cry i'm gonna go to the gym and get my workout and i know for a fact that that's gonna make me feel a little bit better and i will see you guys later honestly if i don't vlog a lot today it's because my heart is just heavy i don't know what i don't know i don't know okay but i love you guys so much please pray for the people of palestine for all the innocent lives that have been taken all of the families that are struggling the people of palestine who have no one to help them but god okay we're gonna head to the gym um i feel like i need to put something in my body y'all so i pulled up to the gym right my phone my phone is 10 percent my headphones are dead why am i here we're gonna go in there and we're gonna smash our workout regardless i just need it for the stairmaster sweat check My face is ashy and everything but every time I open my phone I literally end up crying can't spend my whole day crying and so it's just oh, there's so much like real that's built up inside of me when you can't do something about a situation but there's so much like emotion attached to it it sucks and so I think just like taking a moment away and I feel like it's so important for us to see this for what it is, right? See the reality of what's happening with these people. I've seen those videos and seeing, you know, those pictures, it's important. I love you guys. I hope you guys are doing okay. I hope you guys are um, hanging in there. I guess in these moments, we have to remember that the power of dua isn't something that is powerless or meaningless. And so if I can do that, that is enough. You know what I mean? If I could do that, that is enough. And like just putting my trust in God that everything will be taken care of. The people who are causing corruption and chaos in the world, they will be dealt with. And those who have been through things that I can't even imagine in this world, they will be rewarded for their hardships. And so I just have to like remind myself of that and not, but we literally have the most beautiful religion. Like I can't, I can't. If a pin pokes your finger, you get rewarded for that pain that you went through. And so imagine the pain of losing your family, of being in fear constantly, of crying constantly, of, you know, never being able to fully relax. I can't imagine how much they will be rewarded for the pain that they endured in this world. And so we just got to hold on to that. Mixy mixy. Oh my goodness, my camera is not charging. I don't know why it's not charging, guys. 
but good morning and happy Friday. If I'm not able to vlog on here, I'm going to be vlogging for TikTok on my phone. So I'm so sorry if I can't bring you guys with me today um, because my camera is literally dying. I forgot to charge it last night, but I'm on my way to my brow appointment. It is raining super duper heavy right now. So we're going to vibe. I'll see you later. Aliana Slade. Her usual, she slayed. Ah! Anyway, I'm gonna call my mom to see where she is. We're gonna meet up for Hinda, you guys. I am getting kind of hungry. Call has been forwarded to voicemail. The person you're trying. We're getting our Hinda. Is he not seeing you guys all week? <laughs> I forgot my abaya in my car. Let me see what you're watching. I'm not who put myself on social media. Don't put me. Don't put me. They won't. But I love when you guys post me on your stories. <laughs> not the story text. Story of my life. Also, it is currently 9.22 Sunday. OOTD. Minnesota sweatshirt. That I got because I was cold. Mm -hmm. <laughs> These pants are for me. <laughs> Abercrombie. Get out of my room. <laughs> Good morning and happy Sunday. I am still in bed. Haven't gotten out. I did get out. I brushed my teeth. I did my skincare. Um, and then I came back in bed. I've been up since 7 just working on the podcast, guys. But yeah, I just haven't been really filming lately only because it feels i don't know things just feel so off things feel weird things feel off um and there's really not a moment that passes without me just like thinking about the people of palestine and it just makes me angry it makes me upset it makes me feel a little bit helpless it makes me feel a little bit hopeless and that's the last thing that i want to feel um especially knowing that you know god is with them and um that all of everything that is happening is a part of god's wisdom and that they will win in the end i feel like that anger and that frustration can easily become losing hope in god and questioning god even though i know for a fact that as horrible as everything that is happening is we're gonna win in the end and there's gonna be victory and there's gonna be justice and so the last thing i would want to do is to lose hope in god and so i just have to be in constant like reminder of that and um it's just been heavy heavy emotions lately i feel really guilty of waking up and you know living the life that i'm living when there's so many people who are in so much pain and there's an entire group of people who are being wiped out and an entire ethnic cleanse and so it really does anger me and there's not a moment that goes by a moment that goes by without me thinking of them i feel like i just couldn't film yesterday and so i kind of took a break from filming and like just this entire week has been off i've done everything that i could to bring awareness to everything that I personally could do, such as praying for them, dua and donations and all of those things. Um, and it, and sometimes it feels like it's not enough. Like that prayer isn't enough. Like, ah, oh, I feel frustrated. Like I wish there was just so much more that I can do. We have to remember that dua is literally so powerful and it is the weapon of the believer. And so it is enough. Um, but today we're gonna try to have a good day today we're going to it's our sunday reset we're gonna try to set ourselves up for a better week a more hopeful week we're gonna be hopeful we're gonna be optimistic today's our sunday reset so welcome to the vlog i missed you guys even though it's only been one day um well technically friday I didn't really vlog either this entire week has just been kind of on and off but yeah, I've just been sitting here planning for the pod. I don't know if my phone is gonna turn on because it died. Because I didn't plug it in last night. Oh, there it is. It's my little Stanley just laying here for me. I'm gonna go make breakfast, but I just wanna show you guys my plan for the day. We've got loads of laundry to do, so that's gonna kind of be our first. Here is our sunday reset to do i put vlog today for youtube because it's something that i want to do 
um, laundry, gym clothes, bed sheets and pillowcases, clean bedroom and space, makeup brushes, get nails done, clean out car. We're going to do some vacuuming and some um, cleaning. I have my big bottle of Tylenol with me because I am literally dying from cramps, but I took it a little bit earlier so I feel a little bit better. Um, and then after this, we're going to head out to get our nails done and clean our car. to my nails appointment or i'm trying to head to my nails appointment i'm like kind of forcing myself to go because i feel so defeated today honestly if this is the end of this vlog i'm gonna go get my hijab okay so if this is the end of the vlog then i love you guys so much and i hope to see you guys next time inshallah this week will be a little bit better than this last week i'm sorry that it wasn't the best vlog ever i don't know things just life doesn't feel <laughs> the best it doesn't feel right right now we're just in a place of having faith and i'm not feeling too well physically um and i feel like my body's low-key failing me right now so if this is the last time that you guys see me today and this week i love you guys so much and we're gonna try again next week <laughs> to all of my people who also feel the same way i know that you guys feel angry i know that you guys feel frustrated i know that you guys feel sad and upset and tired and unheard but have faith and be patient because god's wisdom is beyond our comprehension and at the end we will win i love you guys so much and i will see you next time you have a responsibility and you have to do everything that you possibly can and that is part of iman that's part of faith this isn't politics that's part of faith when you see people being oppressed and will there be consequences? Are our favorite politicians going to turn their backs on us? Are you maybe going to get a letter from your administration at a university? Are you going to get slapped on the wrist? Will you have certain consequences that will be faced? Is your social media going to be taken down? Maybe. Who cares? Who cares? If we face consequences for trying to be their voice outside of the trench. And if people say, Inna nasa qad lakum, look, Palestine is a losing battle. 
Palestine is not a losing battle. Palestine will win, insha'Allah ta'ala. Palestine will win, Gaza will win, Al-Aqsa will be liberated. We have as much certainty in that as we do when we say, La ilaha illallah Muhammadan Rasulullah, that wa man nasru illa min indillah.